Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. As you can see, we are just starting for the first time. DC Legends, so it's popped up this, uh, the official iOS pop uh, push notification prompt. Shouldn't be doing this here. This should come after a tutorial. The good developers are now firing up their own splash screen um, and uh, saying, do you want push notifications or messaging or some other um, way of putting it? And then if you say not sure or not now, they can fire that up again. This could only be fired up once. So when developers do this, I always say don't allow because it's just bad practice. Okay, so we're downloading some content. Not too much looks like, hopefully it's 1.1 meg. So, um, what can we say about DC Legends? Obviously there's been vast amounts of Marvel games. Oh, we're downloading some more now. Sneakily doing it in stages. Vast amounts of uh, Marvel games in the free-to-play kind of squad-based RPG space. Also beat em up kind of space as well. Um, certainly a lot of free-to-play mobile games um, using the Marvel characters and pretty successful. So, uh, I guess Kabam's Marvel Contest of Champions is probably the most successful. Um, but uh, Netmarvel, Korean publisher, has also a pretty successful Marvel game. Uh, okay, so this one's been developed by Warner Brothers, published by Warner Brothers, developed by the San Francisco studio. Don't know too much about what they've been doing previously. And we're stuck <laughs> on 45%. So this, when it comes to the first time user experience, which is the uh, kind of official professional way of talking about when you someone plays a game for the first time this is not what you want to happen so there's lots of free to play mobile games available on the app store there's hundreds every week released um obviously this is a big brand but equally you just don't want people to hack to, to kind of sit around there we go so that's even worse so i've got to restart it all over again so okay then that's just loaded i don't know what's going on here but um yeah, for most games, do you actually need to download a whole bunch of stuff to start it up? Not really. You've got a tutorial. Um, you've got a, this thing that some people are going to skip because no one cares less about it, uh, intro videos. Okay, so here we here's our squad, and it looks like we're going to do the battle. You can see the top right. There's this is how the um, uh, green beats red, or green has an advantage over red, red has an advantage over blue, blue and green, as, as we'd expect. Okay, tap an enemy, uh, attack an enemy, tap on them. So this is what we're expecting again in RPG. Um, okay, so that's what to just discuss the bonus hit. Um, tap an old superpower to view that description, and then we tap on someone to do that. So presumably at some point um, this will all be auto played because that's what you should be doing in these kind of games. That's not to say that the gameplay isn't important, but meta game is really where these games are all about. Uh, are all about. Uh, Super Lanterns come on. What does this one do? Can I not even choose that? Heavy heal. I don't need a heavy heal, do I? And you can see we're just tapping with only one enemy, so that's a bit, a bit ridiculous to ask us to tap on him because we know uh, who we're attacking. I guess the only option here is what attack we're going to do. But Superman's just done that. Nice. Okay. Okay, we'll just have you lost. Mm -hmm. Oh no, okay. So he's uh, been brought back to our side. So let's restart it, downloading more content in the background, that's when content should be downloaded. Okay, Green Lantern and Zantana, whoever she is, are in my collection. It was a bit annoying to place with Superman, and obviously they want to keep Superman back as a kind of better character that you get. Which is fine, but obviously it's different versions of Batman. Kind of interesting when the Star Wars Galaxy of Hero game, which is probably the best example of a great Western developed squad based RPG. Um, you got Chewbacca um, straight off, um, and actually, surprisingly, a lot of people you still use Chewbacca. He was a pretty good tank if you like tanks. Okay, so we lost contact with Superman. So that's the same why we can't can't use Superman. <laughs> I suppose a little conceit. Okay, so we're going to go straight to the shop. That's not a bad thing. We're not spending any money. We're getting some drops for free. Still interesting. Still says download content. So hopefully that's working. So what have we got? We got um, yeah. unlock Green Arrow. So there's a typical kind of thing where you get so all, the get meta game is all about unlocking new characters and leveling them up. That's pretty been pretty successful in terms of monetization. Uh, Green Arrow is used in battle, so it's good. We've unlocked a character. We're going to go straight to the battle. So that's all what we'd be expecting. Um, if we are now waiting for something to happen, yes. So we're using some energy there. We can see tap on. So I'm going to tap on these. 
ones I've got. I've only got three. I can have four in total. A lot of, a lot of um, four seems to be the uh, typical number of the characters you have in a squad. Okay, we don't care literally at all about this kind of stuff. So, um, so now we can see the autos in. Right. So what we're going to do? We're going to whack auto on. We can speed it up. Can't speed it up. Oh no, I don't want to. I'm going to zoom. I'm going to speed it up. There I go. So this is not particularly. Um, some players don't like this kind of thing. They want to go and tap it on, you know, make the taps, and make the tactical moves all themselves. But really, in, in these kind of these play mobile games, the tactical decisions are made in how you level up players, how you, the resources you get, and how you use them. That's really what's important. The gameplay stuff sometimes. Um, I mean, there's a balance to go on there, really, about how. Um, I'm not going to level up uh, Green Lantern. Um, there is some tactical issues in, how, in kind of who you might attack first, but it's not really the focus of game design. Um, certainly for free to play games, they just work on a different level. Okay, and interestingly, it didn't really. The um, tutorial didn't tell us this is. You can use auto here. It just assumed that people who wanted to use auto would go into it, and people who didn't wouldn't. I guess. Um, so we're going to do another battle. You can see there's a power thing going on here. Um, so it's again quite typical to see to get the idea of your the squad, your squad's power and the enemy power. Um, so skip. We don't need all this. So we started off. He's showing his special skill. We're on also. To see, I think it's much quicker doing it this way. Weird though, if you auto play, then you have to tap on things to skip that kind of dialogue that no one cares about. That would be would be odd if that continues during the game. I'm hoping it's just in the tutorial. But I'm waiting to see. You can see graphically, it's pretty high end, nice um, kind of 3D models. So, certainly, kind of better graphics than um, Star Wars, the Star Wars game. Galaxy of Heroes has been out for a year, so there's no surprise there, but it does look pretty nice. So it looked like we've got a healing situation, so whatever her name was, her uh, is uh, Katana is healing and the other ones are attacking. Um, still done any content. Um, we've got enough hero fragments to add Batman, well that's a good move, we definitely want a Batman. And that will then complete our squad of four. So where is he? Um, tap to unlock. And we'd also see at this point um, all the other characters that we will be unlocking, yeah, you're Batman. Um, so we can level him up. Um, now, what would I level up here? I guess I want to use. Do I? I don't really know. If I should be using something that's a bonus one. I can't. Oh, okay, I don't quite know where that is. No, the stats have gone up level two. So, so here we can continue in the bottom right. Can collect more hero fragments. So fragments are going to be what we're going to be after. So it's telling us where we can find them. We can just buy them. Um, it's going to the shop. This is like a random. So we can see here. Um, suicide Squad. Okay, premium bundle. So, six premium packs guaranteed. Thirteen hero fragments from one. So you're not guaranteed what fragments you get, um, but you're guaranteed kind of the, um, a certain levels or certain kind of. Um, I guess if you use the Suicide Squad ones, you're guaranteed some Suicide Squad heroes. So that's kind of the way the randomness works. Um, he's at maximum level. Oh, that's interesting. So that means probably he can be evolved, is it? Um, also, if you're looking around here, it's not been in, not been in the tutorial yet. But there's a gear ranking, so we, we can basically, when we fill those six slots, we can upgrade his gear. Again, that's something um, pretty standard in RPGs. It's say for the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes game, also six, um, and then superpowers. These are what we, these are the moves we do. So we can see here. Um, can we go back? Here? So we can see he's got three at the moment, but some of these are not locked yet. And so there's an upgrade system there. Can we upgrade this one? This is going to cost us some stuff. We've got enough stuff. We've upgraded it. So we can't upgrade it now to character level 6. So we can just see how this stuff is being laid on. Again, this is all pretty standard um, for uh, an RPG. So what can we do to her? level her up? I don't know what different colours these ones mean. What does that mean? Um, oh, so, she, so I need to know what, what kind of... Um, she missed it. She looked pretty missed it, didn't she? Um, let's see if that one does. Okay. Yeah, she's leveled up. 
So she's level two. She can go up to level sixty-seven by the look of things. Oh, it says max level. Now. I don't know. Understand that then? Um, who else? We have someone else. Okay, Green Lantern, uh, Green Arrow. Even she doesn't much to know about DC superheroes. Level him up. Um, apply. So you see, we're all time spending currency. We're spending resources, um, and we're making progress in the meta game. Um, so you can see here, um, all these heroes, plenty of heroes. It's, these kind of games are really based on getting heroes and probably some people will be really keen to get Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad um, and they'll spend a lot of time and potentially a lot of money getting there um, and as you get further in these characters will have different moves that will make it kind of um, you want to have a squad built up of certain kind of characters and that's kind of part of learning the game who are the tanks who are the healers who have the special moves who have whatever and equally it's a little bit about gameplay how you want to play it yourself um, I don't really like tanks very much so I tend not to have tanks in my uh, in my RPG squads so there we go um, I think we'll just leave it there really so that was apart from the uh, few problems loading the game and the push notification prompt to in totally the wrong place this looks like a pretty um, solid uh, squad based RPG it's good to see Western developers um, having the features that you should have in there I mean I guess these guys have all played Star Wars Galaxy Heroes which is literally the default option for anyone making this kind of game um, so no surprises really they don't seem to have done anything um, they haven't done everything they should have done uh, I guess as we get further into the game, as we play for the next week and the next month, um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of innovation they have. Maybe they don't have any innovation. Maybe they're just the innovation is that this is the only game with the DC characters and people care about Batman and, and Superman and that kind of stuff, which is fine. That's absolutely, you know, important enough. Um, you don't need to innovate all the time. Innovation is a it's a dangerous double-edged sword when it comes to these kind of games where people are very used to a certain way of playing free-to-play mobile games so thanks for watching this is the long view in the long view we play free-to-play mobile games for a long period of time and as long as we can really and we do videos looking at our progression and looking at the things pointing out things we really like pointing out things we uh, are not so sure about so um thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and um, hope to see you again soon